Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Van Mencias and I am here to help you make the weed from Marupok to Marunong. Make the weed! I know it's been a while since I last created a vlog, but I wanna make sure, I will make sure that this is worth the wait. WTW. Sana one day no, meron tayong makaharap na natin si Dawan. Tapos wala tayong masabi kundi Tweet wheel! Joke <laughs> <laughs> You're a WTW. You're worth the wait. We you. Anyway, today we are going to talk about Queen of Tears. Diba kahit gano'ng kainit ang panahon, lalamig talaga ang ulo mo dahil sa ganda ng Queen of Tears. Okay, I'm gonna share with you five lessons I've, or gifts that I have received or I have taken from this series. Okay, okay, number one, gonna share. I love Chloe so much, but after finishing Queen of Tears, wala, number one, gonna talaga siya, as in. Obvious naman, diba? Gumagawa pa ako ng vlog about it. Okay, let's proceed. Number one is, trust women's intuition. Trust your, 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 trust your intuition, my, my lady. Like Hong Hei In, the main protagonist in the story, the lady love in the story. Sorry if medyo magiging spoiler siya. Sana napanood mo na siya. But I'll have some clips here. So si Hong Hei In, there was a part in the series when she lost her memory after her surgery. But there was this guy, Yun Song, who was trying to pursue her and he pretended to be the love of her life um, after the surgery because she has forgotten everything. So he was uh, trying to deceive her. Pero ano sabi sa kanya ni Hong e Hei In? Panoorin niyo ito. <laughs> O, oh, diba? Kahit na hindi, wala siyang naaalala. Alam niya. Alam ng intuition niya bilang mabae na hindi, hindi ikaw ang nilalaman ng puso ko. So, you have to trust your intuition if you feel uneasy about a person. Um, bring it up to God. At saka, girls, napaka-generous ng Diyos. Um, there were many moments in my life when I was considering somebody and I prayed this prayer. The Lord, show me his heart. Pinapakita talaga ng Diyos. So, hindi mo lang, hindi lang intuition, pero bibigyan kanya ng proof. Okay, I've heard so many women say also, grabe nung pray ko, Lord, kung hindi naman siya yung gusto mo for me, gawa naman ang paraan, alisin mo siya sa life ko. And then, God really does something. He just needs our permission because whew, the Lord is a gentleman. Okay? Number two. Number two. It's so important to see the difference between real love and counterfeit love. Real love and counterfeit love. Actually, I have a video that about it. Real love versus fake love. Uh, I'll try to link it for you. Tutunin natin yan. Tutunin. So, yung real love is in Hyun Woo. Diba? He took a bullet for her. He wanted her to be fully alive. There is a, even a part in the series wherein he was willing to do something he really didn't want to do just to keep her passionate about life, just to keep her alive. Aww. Him. Um, and that's what a real man does. That's what a real hero does. Gusto niya, um, he brings more life into you. Meaning, hindi lang sa kilig, kasama yun. Pero, gusto niya, um, like si Hyun Woo, 
he loves on her family. He protects her family. He protects her relationship with her family. And also, he helps her so much. He became a hero also for their family business because he knows how much she cares about Hong Hei and how much she cares about their business, her business, CEO siya ng department store. So, um, that's how you will know na he's willing to die to himself. Literally, he took a bullet for her. He's willing to die to his desires if it is what is best for her. Mamaya, sasabihan ko yun ang more real-life application nito. While the other guy, yung counterfeit love example natin dito, si Yun Song, nakakainis si mukha niya, grabe. Ang galing nila sa casting nga. So, si Yun Song, he didn't really love her. It seems like he does, but he doesn't. Okay, ano yung mga clues na hindi siya tunay na pag-ibig? Deception. There was so much deception. And he would kill everything in her life just to have her. So, hindi yung tunay na pagmamahal because he is not doing what is best for her. Instead of bringing more life to her, he's bringing death. So, he would kill Hyun Woo. Uh, kahit alam niyang mahal talaga yun ni Hong Hei In. He would put her family into, into danger. So, paano paano naging love yun, di ba? It's such a counterfeit version. And um, so much so that there was a part na if if I cannot live with you, then we're gonna I'm gonna kill you. So we know a lot of relationships na ayun malapit na sila magpatayan or nagpatayan na talaga sila sadly and. That's so very sad. That is so very sad. Okay, how do we apply this in real life? Siyempre, hindi naman ganito ka-dramatic yung mga nangyayari sa buhay natin, di ba? May mga bulit-bulit, ganyan. Okay, if the guy really loves you, if he is a real man, then he would be willing to die to himself so that your dreams will be protected your family relationships will be protected because he knows that's important to you. Um, your future, your joy, your peace will be protected. Um, if he is uh, urging you to have sex with him, then he doesn't really love you. I've mentioned this before. I know somebody sinabi sa kanya nung guy na I can't say I love you to you when we have sex. So deep within a man's heart, I think the Lord really engraved real love. Pero pinapatay siya ng the world, the lustful desires, what the world feeds us. Um, so, but a real man, what a real hero will do is he will keep you pure. Uh, because he wants to protect your heart, your dreams. Uh, kasi if nagkaroon ng unwanted pregnancy, it would potentially kill your dreams, di ba? Kasi, you would have to be very responsible and forget about your dreams for the meantime because you have to attend a child. What if you're not ready? It can potentially harm your relationships. Um, and if he really cares about you, he will not allow that to happen. And um, so that's one practical way to differentiate a real man from a boy. Now, this is not to hate on men, okay? This is not a MHC, Man Haters Club. If you would look at the background of these two guys, you would see that Hyun Woo, Hyun Woo grew up in a family where there, there is so much love. Look at this, look at this. So, ito yung kakabalik lang niya from prison. There's so much love. And then, here's a clip from the life of Yoon Song. <laughs> so, 
So Yun Song did not experience love growing up. He was running after his mom he, um, and she was a mistress. And because of that, Yun Song's heart was empty while Hyun Woo's heart has been full. That is why that is why I do what I do. I do my best to help children grow up in healthy, holy, happy families so that I didn't say perfect, but so that they would have more love to give. And they will not also kill, steal, and destroy like what the devil wants. The bad John 10 10. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Uh, and that's what I love about this gay drama also. There are scenes where you'd see them praying. The last scene showed um, a fa their family praying. <laughs> so, uh, we'll go to that later. So, also, I want to highlight here what God designed men and women for. God designed men really, the right? Husbands, die to yourself. Um, look at what Christ did for his bride, the church. He he died for her. So, makikita mo kaya sobrang lokan-loka tayo sa K-drama. Kasi, pinapakita niya yung truth. What is in the heart of God. Hindi naman sabi ni, ni Lord na gusto niya mamatay yung mga lalaki, diba? Pero he wants them to learn sacrificial love. Because that is when they will really experience true joy and true manhood. Because naturally, women would respond to that with so much love yon so that's god's design for men and women pero usually hindi ba hindi na siya nasusunod parang ngayon babae na lang yung sobrang like gagawin ko lahat para sa iyo at mapapakanta na lang siya na i'm not your super woman ah uh, siya na gumawa ng lahat and uh, miserable because that's not God's design. So the more that we follow God's design, the more life will make sense. And the greater our, the joy our hearts, the greater joy our hearts will have. Tapos, yung design ni Lord also for a family would be clearly seen from these two experiences. Okay, number three. So number one, trust women's, your intuition, woman. Number two, um, differentiate real love from counterfeit love and how does counterfeit love happen really counterfeit love it really stems from the family can I have any Pope John Paul II, the future of humanity passes by way of the family number three how sin leads your own demise and death so yung nanay ni Yon song was a mistress I think she's a single mom and then she was a mistress to this tycoon but of course she was with him to use him for for the money so you'll see here a scene of what i'm talking about <laughs> So in that scene, she basically parang she made sure na para na siyang vegetable. Pero hindi niya papatayin kasi kailangan buhay siya pa rin for her, for her uh, SPA, Special Power of Attorney would be effective so it's just really using the bath and then she eventually ended up in prison here i'll show you a clip of that <laughs> The Lord hates sin. The Lord hates sin because it will harm us. It will destroy our lives. The grandpa in the story, actually, yung tycoon na sinasabi ko, he um, committed suicide. So, when we say yes to sin, it really um, 
brings us to death. Um, literally, pinakita yun sa, sa series. What usually happens is, especially diba dito sa may other, other woman story, it's not real love because it's so harmful to everybody involved. It seems like it's it's nice, it's exciting, it's pleasurable, but it's really harmful because people in the relationship um, are there to use and not truly to love. <laughs> and eventually the truth will come out and um, there's just so much regret on it uh, oh, I will show you a clip of what the Lolo said when he died. Na. There was so much regret. But it doesn't have to be that way. That life will end with regret. If we've made mistakes, the Lord has redemption waiting for us. I've made so many mistakes. And I'm not saying I'm not going to make any more. But the Lord has redeemed so much in my life. Uh, and this is also shown in the series. Let's watch this. Okay, so dito yung dalawang girls na una ginagamit nung um, villain na girl, si Mool si, tama ba? Uh, so parang pawns niya sila, um, using them to deceive uh, the family, the main protagonist, to be able to get information which will be used against them. But eventually, they admitted to their mistake. They... Um, they were witnesses um, during the hearing and um, they had to pay for the consequences of their actions and they were imprisoned as well uh, which also goes to show God's heart na, okay side note na lang to na God will allow us to experience the consequences of our actions so that we will really learn and that's what they did hindi lang siya parang okay easy way out um, okay naman ako sa family um, nagawang ko naman na sila ng favor I don't have to pay for my consequence anymore but they did they did what was right and then after yun nga nakita niya that there was beautiful very beautiful redemption so like in the story of the bible diba it's either si Peter or si Judas <clears throat> Peter Peter uh, became the rock. Diba? Upon uh, this rock, I will build my church. Kahit na ilimbes niya binetray si Jesus. But then there's also Judas who betrayed Jesus but then he committed suicide. So, ay, oh nga, no? Grabe yung paralelism. So, there. So, again, Isaiah 118 is though your sins are as red as scarlet, I can make them as white as snow. Please remember that. Okay, number four. Number four is how our hearts are so captured by real love. So you would see in the movie, huh? <laughs> yung dream, dream ni Hong Hei Hien when they were in Germany, she saw a grandfather visiting the grave of 
his wife, his late wife, giving her flowers pa rin, ganyan. And then the, the, the series ended with Hyun Woo doing the same for, for Hong Hae In. But of course, they were together for a long, long time. Parang three decades, four decades pa ata. So, it's so beautiful. Actually, when I was doing this, um, to give you the clip of that, umiyak na naman ako. Oh my god, kakatapos ko lang manood ng Queen of Tears at talaga naman naging Queen of Tears din ako, tawa ako ng tawa iyak ako na iyak Agad! <laughs> so dumi oh my god Hindi ko kaya gano'n talaga <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo yun? Ang ganda talaga. It's just quality storytelling. Walang walang anything na lost full. It's just he love is so beautiful. And bakit tayo naiiyak with these scenes? Actually, bakit tayo naiiyak sa weddings, right? Because our hearts are really designed for true everlasting love. That's what God designed us for. And the devil knows how beautiful it is, how sacred it is. So he will do everything para hindi natin siya ma-experience, para hindi siya ma-experience ng mga anak natin, apo natin, and generations after that. And one of the most powerful ways he does that is through premarital sex, through both broken people searching for love in the wrong way, in the wrong place, in the wrong persons. Um, and last but not the least, what I so love about the series is that it didn't have suggestive scenes like a lot of other series just to keep people hooked. Kailangan parang medyo soft porn or um, sexual yung scenes or whatever. Wala siyang gano. And it's but but you know people love it. Natalo pa niya yung Chloe. Um, and there's so much hope for humanity. I hope that shows there will be more shows like this that really respects the human dignity that people are made so much for so much more. De ba hindi lang tayo flesh. We are made for so much more. A friend asked me. Bakit ko siya mas gusto than Chloe? And, and I think because hindi lang siya masarap sa mata. Okay, they're so beautiful. Ang ganda ng aesthetically pleasing everything. But also because it's so good for the heart. It's go so good for the spirit. So I hope you've learned something here. And this will encourage you to also watch it if you haven't. Kahit na just spoiler siya. Okay! So I guess that's it for this a video. Let's pray. Jesus, help us to say yes to real love by saying yes to your love first. Amen. Holy Family, pray for us. Pope John Paul to pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Please remember, you are far more precious than Simon. Bye.